I know we haven't seen each other a lot lately because um, one, the weather's been terrible and there's been some other things going on. You would have seen a couple of videos come out with primo, primo, primo weather. Um, it's just that the fishing has not been great in those little weather windows. It's hard to work it out every, if you only got two days every two weeks to try and make something happen, it's very hard. So anyways, you would have seen the vids and whatever. So we can just get it back to us now, a little bit of me time, a bit of me and you time. I feel like we've grown apart. So um, today it's just gonna be one of those days where it's like a bit on the edge. It's uh, rained last night, sun's semi come out now. The tides are actually really good for this one little zone. I think we could probably pick up a couple of fish. So um, that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, we'll just maybe have to battle with a little bit of wind later on. Maybe some cloud cow will come over, maybe a little bit of spray here and there, a little bit of drizzle. So, but you know, um, I got the hoodie on, which is never a good sign in North Queensland. Not, I'm lucky that I didn't throw this out or burn it because you know, I was like, eh, maybe just in case. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, um, let's get out there and try and make something happen. Alright. I think we'll start here somewhere. It's going to be one of those days where we've got cloud and rain sort of coming in and out, but it's the first time in a, in a long time since we've had any sort of clear weather and good tides. This was all chocolate milk for ages, all through here, it was all just chocolate milk with the amount of rain and, and then big tides came through and it was like a bit of a, you know, event. So it's good to be out, probably get a couple of hours this morning. We'll see how we go. We're just gonna work along this bank here and then there's some rocks around the corner. So tides just pushing up now. So they should be, fish should be heading up into the groves, onto the rock bars. Hopefully the water temp's high enough where they're gonna be active enough to hit top waters and stuff. So that's the plan, let's get into it. Boat's a bit of a mess, but um, this is what we're gonna go with today. This thing in the jig, if I can get it out. Everything's just wet. So yeah, so like a waffle plopper, drunk mullet they call it, but commonly known as a waffle plopper where it's got a little Fantail, probably seen me use these before. It's a nice, fun way to um, catch fish on top waters. So, let's put, put a bit of leader on. I'll put a bit of 50 pound on, you know, not much, about that much probably. And uh, just tie an FG knot and then straight to that splitty on there and you're good to go. So, I'll do that quickly and then we'll be into it. Oh man, actually, usually I would just tie this in piece, but I had a comment of how you set up your rod. So, in terms of braid to leader, I just this is how I tie my FG knot. Go a couple times around there, a couple times around there, and then open it up. Boom, that's your tension. Put your line in there, and you just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it, you're done. There's all your wraps. You undo it. Some people like to do, you know, fancy finishes on it, but I just go a bunch of half hitches. So bang, so I'll do five, and then I'll do a double. Right at the end, the double seems to just lock it off very well at the end. So that's three, and then two more. And then basically, you're all sweet. So then we do a double, and that's how quick I can tie the FGs. Like that, like that, pull it tight. And you want to see your you want to see your braid. It's hard to see on camera, but it'll sort of change color. It'll go like a dark, darker color when it cuts in. So that's basically this is all just friction. This knot. So you're looking for it to to cut in, and you just uh, cut your ends. Boom. This one here, I'll cut just a little bit proud, and I will just melt that back with the lighter. Boom, there you go, that's it. FG knot, good to go. Like I said, about that much leader. Boom, done. And then tie your lure on. So let's get into it. It's just to give you a bit of an insight on the pattern I mentioned it there before. I'm more interested in the rocks up here, but 
they could be getting up into these groves it's a little bit shallow here yet but the the theory is that uh the fish the fish uh take the opportunity to get up especially because it was low tide last night they've not been in here yet so they'll take the opportunity here early morning and i found early morning to be pretty good for this kind of stuff in the mangroves early morning rising tide and it's at 1.8 now in this particular area that's kind of the time when i've seen them like sometimes i've seen them not in this spot but other spots where they will sit in the shallows here and you can see them just mooching around waiting to have enough water to to get up in there so the theory is they're all waiting to get in there and ambush the bait you know so now's the time to get them as it runs out yeah you can still get them but um you know i find that this these times now with the incoming it's nice clean water they're keen as a bean to get in there and it just can be on you know what i mean so that's the whole thing and you want to look for these bits that come out like this these greeneries and you just want to buzz them you know see if there's a bass real barra sort of territory of sitting underneath that suspending under there and that you'll find that the barras like to sit under overhangs and stuff like that more than the jacks and the jacks will like to be up in there tucked away Here's a barra here. See, up there. That's a barra for sure. That's him. See if he comes out. Did not f move. Seriously. He did not move. Did not fucking move. Did not move to come have a look at that at all hell they just sit there he is yep. got him that time there he is did not move the first time had to come from behind him instead of in front of him go figure go figure that oh. he was looking straight at it the first time then i brought it from his tail past his face down the side and here we go yeah good little barry good 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 happy happy days Oh, he's all like super fouled. He's all super fouled up. I haven't even got my net ready. Oh, and he's got off, of course. Oh, he must have gill raked me. Ah, it's popped off. He had the had the leader around the lure and then up past his gill, so he must have gill raked me. What you fucking get for not having your net set up, eh? Fucking dickhead. Luckily, I have a second one of these. Exactly the same colour and everything. So I'll just edit that out where I was a dickhead and didn't have my fucking net set up. I'll just edit that out. And no one will know. So here we are guys. Just putting this lure on. Oh yeah, it's sick. Having a great day out here today. There's one, yep. Oh my god. Fucking what a day. What a day I'm having. There's one. Oh my god, what is going on today? It's just not happening. You won't eat again, no way. No way he's gonna eat again. See what they do when they eat like that is they can't, they hit it. Oh, there he is. That's a fucking barracuda, that one. With the barras, what they do is they come up and they eat it. They try and eat it and then they take off like that. And then you hook them and then they fight. But if you don't hook them, they just zoom off to the next zone. They don't hang around. So, very rarely. Unless you see him go back into the snag. There's one little fella. Unless you see him go back into the snag or whatever. And he, and this is a different one, but most likely they just go and seek refuge in the nearest snag. This one I don't even 
need the net for, but the rat, little ratty. Woo! Bit smaller than the last one, but look at that, he's got it in head first. And I'm wrapped around my, this is what happened last time I think I got wrapped around my, my treble. And uh, yeah, it was a bit of a mess, but. Mmm, there we go, a little, little barry on that. Very good. Let's get you out and get you back in, eh? There you go, little fella, get him back in. So there you go. Nothing. What the hell? The mullet man, just next level. He's a good little candidate here. Yep, there's a barra there. What's he doing? Is he coming for a look? Yep, he's gonna come for a look. He's gonna come for a little look. No, what the fuck is he doing? What's he doing? What is he doing? I wish you guys could see this more clearly. Like, they're just being absolute. They've been terrible. He came for a look. The laziest look I've ever seen. Oh, mullets. This is a good zone. I'm just going to buzz all of that zone. There's a little fella. Not sure if that was a jack or a barra, but it was only little. And he's given up. He's given up. He's given up on life. He's a quitter, mate. Absolute quitter with commitment issues. A quitter with commitment issues. Nothing worse. Go mad. Attack of the... Oh, that was a jack, was it? Yeah, it was a jack. Come and have a look. I don't know if you saw that, just a little minor swirl. And he's going back in underneath this rock. There he is, yep, little jack. Oh my god. Yep, they're under there. Only small though, but let's just buzz him again, and see. Oh, I'm too close. Yeah, sick. Sick. Yep, come and swirled again. It's the GO guys. What's the go? Don't want to eat. Not hungry. Oh well, we had two, three swipes at it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, hang on. Oh, barra. Yeah, nice. I'll call you back. Yes. An old Bazzy. No hesitations. Hey! Come here, you little shit. Come here. Here he is, little Baz. Hey, oh, wait, yeah, wait, hey, 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 ha. What are you? In the rain, too. Rain brought him on. Look at that. How good is that, eh? Oh, he's got himself off in the net. Old barras and trebles, nets and trebles, eh? Awesome. There we go. I'll just get this out of the net, get him back in. Perfecto. Nice, healthy little Baz boy. Get a few of your mates. Oh, well, there we go. Very good. Fully turned on me here. Hopefully that bit of sunshine comes through. I think if I run on down the side here, too far out, but alright. Too far out. I reckon in here, there's gonna be one sitting in here. Has to be. There's one, yep, I knew it, knew it, knew it. That's a jack. Jack anyway, not a buzz. Knew it. How good's that? Sweet. Jack, hey! Come on, Jack boy! <laughs> Come a long way to get it, didn't ya? How good. Smackage. Just chill. Chill, fam. There we go. Go, son. Nice. Called it. Called it. Got it done. Love it. It's all coming together. Just wish this rain had sort of move on it kind of looks like it's moving on now but 
Oh, see if we can get another one. Very, very rare to get two fish in quick succession, but we'll just I always throw another cast in where I just got one, and very rarely do I catch a second one doing the same thing. So it always pays to try because sometimes they're in bunches, but I feel like they um they have that little active period. Even if there's a bunch of them, very rare to get a second one. And then I've seen them sitting on, so they go back into the snags after they've all missed it. And uh, you might get one to come back out on the second cast. And then the third cast is all over. They've had their little active period. It's the same with brims, barras, jacks, man. They have one little bite at it. And then uh, that's it. And maybe a second one, maybe. But generally you just move on keep moving you know there's jack oh, is that a, that's a jack isn't it yeah i think so red hasn't jumped so it must be a jack good job there we go come here yes good job what's he got a stick on his head You've got a stick on your head mate <laughs> stick head you're a stick head. No, oh, he's got rid of it. Hey, another jackal boy. Yay, about the same size as the last one. What's this on his side? He's been like hit by something. What? What's going on there, champ? Get you undone. Get you back in. It's starting to fire up that bit of rain, man. Fire up. Full fire up. There we go. Nice little jack. Bump. Cool. Just on that dirty water line, I didn't have a lot of confidence in that dirty water line. Usually I like to fish the clearer water, but there you go, a little jack sitting in there. Again, I'll put a cast back in where he came out of and we'll just see. But I doubt you'll get another one. Well, I might do us. Here, did all right, all things considered. So, yeah, there you go. Plopper, plop life, mate. Full plop life this morning. <laughs>